Sunday, December 3rd. I threw in a load of laundry. It's about 9 o'clock. Everybody's kind of sleeping in. It's cloudy again today. It rained overnight really hard. I'm glad it stopped. Um, yeah, I've cut the tree light on and it's just really pretty quiet. Nice. I didn't put all our Christmas ornaments on the tree this year. I tell you, I put it up several days ago, and I love Christmas, as I've said, and I love a Christmas tree. It's just magical, you know? And with everything that's gone on with, oh my goodness, this year, I don't feel festive, obviously, but I feel like I need to continue to go through, you know, the things to keep myself, you know, upright. Sorry if you hear my laundry going. But regarding the Christmas tree, I didn't have the energy to put up all the Christmas decorations. Uh, we have a lot of ornaments, obviously. Through the years we've accumulated, I love Christmas ornaments. Yeah, but I got the lights on and a few ornaments and I had gotten these really pretty, they're not glass, they're plastic. They're like a really pretty pink ball ornaments. I got an assortment of them at Target at clearance last year and so those are all on the tree and they're really pretty. And I'm thinking I might go up to Target today or somewhere, maybe Crate and Barrel and find a few ornaments and add them it might perk me up <laughs> anywho I need coffee I need coffee and the cat keeps telling me she needs more food so we'll see who wins first <laughs> to Target I got this cute fake little tree plant five dollars and a tree skirt it's uh, velcro oh it's fantastic it was 15 and it's perfect yay I'm in my cozies I'm gonna show you my advent knitting project I found the elf <laughs> when my boys were small this little guy showed up the day after Thanksgiving and he was just in random places every day of the month uh, up until Christmas. And then Christmas Eve, he disappeared. He went back to the North Pole. He's not like your typical elf on the shelf. I told my boys, don't touch the elf, you know, don't move him. He is put by Santa where he wants to sit. He never did anything naughty like the elf on the shelf does, but yeah. I came across him this morning, so I put him there. So this is the Puffling Advent Shawl. It's a mystery and along. My mother has done two of this designer's um, Advent Shawls. One successfully. Last year, we both tried it and it was an epic fail. We finally got around to figuring it out and then we just kind of gave up. 
but she has beautiful designs, Heidi Allender. And yeah, so my mom got finished yarn. I showed it in yesterday's um, video. And then I just, I I had, you know, what is it, FOMO, fear of missing out. So I had to do it as well. So I stopped at Fiber Space yesterday and I got this Gartiva. It's made in Spain. It's 100% wool and they had the colors that would work. So I got it. It's another gray day, so the light isn't that great. But there's this color. And does it have a name? I don't think so. I will link below. Yes, it's color Tentata. So there's this one. And then this one is, what is this color? No, it's all Tentata. <laughs> color C506. And yeah, so it's four colors. One, two, three, yeah, four colors. And gonna be so pretty. So I'm going to sit in the recliner, put something on the TV, probably some vlogmases, and start with part one that came out on the first. And what is today? The third? I think the second one came out today. I can't remember. I'm just gonna get started. Gotta run with it. And I got these needles. This is size five. I couldn't remember if I had a long cable for a five so I went ahead and got it these are really pretty like really brown pretty brown uh, I knit loose so I go down a needle in my projects so yeah and it's gonna be living in this tote bag I can't remember where this one came from and I don't think it ever had a label it also had a little thingy that came on there you could just carry around project's gonna live in here and we'll see how far I get I have some popcorn chicken in the air fryer for Zach they got back from the gym Marty and I went to uh, brunch in Old Town for lunch it was really good I went to church it was lovely and after brunch we went to Target and I got two things I think I put the clip before this of what I got so Anywho, he's just chilling. See ya. So I mentioned this morning that I was gonna get some more ornaments at Target, hopefully today, but I didn't see any that I really liked. And you know, you don't wanna get them just to get them, but I did get the tree skirt and I love that. So now I'm gonna wrap some presents probably this week and put them under it. I hate looking at the, the stand of the tree. I like to have a tree skirt. I usually put like a blanket, but my cat will sleep under there and then it gets all messed up and I get crazy and it ain't pretty. So <laughs> this standing little tree skirt does well. So yeah, the tree is from Walmart. I got it last year. I really like it. It's a seven foot or seven and a half foot. I can't remember but it's the biggest fake tree that we've had. We've had some interesting ones through the years. I prefer a real tree. When I was growing up, we had a real tree and we've done that many times. It smells so good, but you gotta water it and all that jazz. And this is three parts and it just hooked in in like under five minutes. So sometimes easy is just the way to go. So that was a nice investment and I really like it, so. So yeah, um, I just want to say real quick, thank you so much for the sweet comments. And, you know, I may sound like a broken record, but I do appreciate each and every one of you who takes the time to message me or email me or just send me a quick heart and, um, you know, understanding of the grief that my family and I are going through right now with the loss of my grandmother this year and my dad. And all I can say is what I keep saying is too much. You know, I know there are people who have gone through and are going through much more than me, but this is what I'm experiencing. And, you know, it's a lot to process, to understand and to live with. But 
grief what I'm learning is a roller coaster. And one day I am right as rain and then the next minute I'm sobbing. So yeah, it's just part of life and we will get through it and we are all different because of it. But these two people, my grandmother and my dad, were just pivotal parts of my entire life. So it's a learning curve without them. But my dad was diagnosed with stage five kidney disease around the same time and my grandmother started her decline when she was in the hospital and then the rehab in February and she passed away in March and he started dialysis. He was doing rather well and he was on schedule. And then late summer, he got kind of stubborn and he didn't want to go. And then he'd have to make up days. And you know, when your kidneys have failed, all other organs in your body are dependent on the dialysis. And it was just kind of a snowball effect. I think everything just started going haywire there was too much fluid and I don't know, he had good days and bad days and we really tried to rally him a lot to get him to go and it was so hard, so difficult. And I get it. I mean, I was fortunate enough to spend one of his, one of his last treatments with him for almost four hours and sitting there and seeing the physical part of it. From that aspect, I can understand his, you know, his wanting not to go. He was in the hospital two and a half weeks in October and he came home and he had to have oxygen. So then there was that. And then he, at the last, um, at the last bit of it, then towards the end, he, had collapsed after two dialysis back to back day to day. So he went to the ER and then was admitted the day before Thanksgiving, the night before uh, he died. So it was sudden, I'd say, because we weren't expecting this outcome. We were thinking he was gonna do well. We were actually thinking a couple days before this happened that once they removed fluid from the lungs, then it would be better but it was just, it was not. So the only good news is that he's not suffering anymore. He doesn't have to have dialysis anymore and he is in a better place, but we miss him so, so much and it hurts and that's the reality of it. But memories are golden. So, but, but thank you. I never want to get on here and be poor pitiful me. Listen to me. This is what happened to me. But just share my life. And I do appreciate when you take the time and, and just sincerely say, hey, I get it. So thank you.